Aaron Outdoors is brought to you by H. James Popowell Family Dentistry, Lawless and Smith True Value, Superior Battery Manufacturing Company, celebrating three decades of energy excellence made in the USA. Affordable Roofing, professional work at affordable prices. Russell Springs and Jamestown Pharmacies, fast and dependable service you can count on. Hillside Portable Buildings, 270-566-4191-270-866-1147. For all your heat pump needs, service, and installation, call Kurtz Heating and Cooling. McDonald's of Russell Springs. Drive through, dine in, carry out, order online, and on the McDonald's app. Diversified Electric for all your commercial and residential electrical needs. Russell County Farm Bureau Agency. Blake Aaron Agent. Big on commitment. Bleed Blue Properties. Cash offers, any condition, as is. 859 684 7710. And by Day and Day Feed. More than just a feed store. Hello everyone and welcome once again to Aaron Outdoors and we have a special show in store for you today. It's our final show here on Duo Broadband's local cable channel and uh, we invite you to tag along. It's been a long ride guys with Duo Broadband through the years. A decade has passed and uh, a lot of hunts, a lot of time on the water and we've enjoyed bringing it all to you. Aaron Outdoors not going anywhere and we'll have more information on that coming up later in today's show. But first, we're heading into the final week of the rifle season in Kentucky. I've still got a tag in my pocket. Let's take a look. All right, good morning, guys. It's Saturday, November the 26th. It's the final weekend of rifle season here in Kentucky. Brett and I have come down here spot we've had some success in the past so had some uh, deer on camera earlier this week temperatures warmed and they've kind of been uh, been quiet the last couple of days cooler this morning in the uh, 30s so we're gonna sit here and uh, hopefully have one pass through so stay with us As the fog's rolling in, we hear some movement over to our right, and sure enough, here comes a buck right into our lap. Which one is that? Is it two more? Is it? Okay. You think I should?
final days of rifle season. Sometimes you gotta make a decision quick. I nearly passed that deer up. You got to worry, you got to think about your surroundings. Brad and I were talking just a little bit ago. You know, the guy on the next property over might not pass that deer. We're not, uh, we're not hunting out in Iowa. We're not hunting out in Missouri right now. So sometimes we got to uh, just make a decision. And I'm happy I, take, I took that deer right there. Almost passed him up. A lot of people I think would be happy with that deer and I'm one of them so Lord's blessed us this morning happened quick he's no giant but anytime you can put one on the ground you get a little buck fever shaking right now it never gets old we're gonna give him a minute or two we think we heard him crash but we'll give him a little bit of time we'll get down to tree go from recovering Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Everything okay? Yeah. Everything all right. Uh, ten pointer came through and got the itchy trigger finger. Did you shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> well, he wasn't little. He didn't look too little. He come through. Looked pretty good. That's why I got uh, a little itchy. <laughs> Where'd you shoot him at? Where? Well, right here. A little bit, a little yeah. behind the shoulder. Did he go down? Did you see him? Uh, he headed over the field or over the hill in some uh, pain. I could tell. Okay. But uh, well, I don't I'll know. be there here in probably 20 minutes or so. Probably I was getting ready to go head out to mom and dad's. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll be there Terry, in a few. Terry, you hey. go get dad if you. Yeah. Go get dad if you want to. All right. Nice job. All right. See you. All right. See you. Probably out chopping wood or something. He's probably going to answer the phone. He might be eating a leftover turkey I'm sandwich. sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a... All right, guys. Uh, get ready to get down out of the tree. Uh, Blake and Dad's going to come up here and help us recover this deer. We're going to go down and... Uh, Go back to the truck and get some uh, some of the items we need to get this animal field dressed once we make the recovery. So we're going to get down and uh, wait on the guys to get here and hopefully go recover this deer with uh, without any issue. So come along. The whole crew is together and we're excited to get in the woods and finally recover Derek's buck. All right, guys, everybody is here now. We've got the posse formed. We're gonna head over the hill and see if we can recover this deer that uh, shot just a little bit ago. Uh, fog has lifted. It was pretty foggy in here most of the morning. Uh, didn't have much action till late. And uh, you know it happened pretty quick when it did, as you all see on the footage. So right now we're gonna track this deer over the hill where we last saw him and uh, hopefully recover this animal. There we go. You ought to be able to see him up here laying, I would think. Huh? Yeah. They rolled it all the way over the hill. I ought to be able to see him laying down there at the bottom, probably. I see him here, I think. I can see his belly. Yeah, that's him. How far are you? He's at the bottom. All the way at the bottom? Pretty much, yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just down the floor with her down there, man.
Well, it happened fast, but I was sure happy to be tagged out with a nice buck. All right, well, here he is, guys. As, uh, as you saw, he just came right over the hill and crashed. Uh, didn't have to really do a, much of a track job at all. It was right at the bottom of the hill. We could see him. Uh, pretty nice deer. I mean, uh, it's no world beater, but, you know, happy to get this deer this late in the season. Uh, as evidence to how hard some of these deer are hunted, this thing has been... Uh, Looks like it has been hit with a with a uh, broadhead off of a uh, arrow probably earlier this season at some point. So uh, that's how tough and resilient these animals are. And uh, he came in this morning. Uh, it was a, a morning with not a lot of action until late, and had some fog and uh, 30 degree temperatures this morning for the first time in a few mornings. So they got on their feet this morning and was able to put down a shot on this one and. Make a good recovery here with the guys, so happy with this buck this morning. Well, the late muzzleloader season has come in, and we've been getting some good pictures of a nice buck on a new property. So the guys and I head out to the blind with high hopes for an evening hunt. loading season here in Kentucky, December the 10th, and uh, we're sitting here in the edge of a field watching the wood line here. We've had some bucks coming out late in the evening. It started to rain on us when we started down here, so I don't know what that'll do for them, but I'm the only one with a buck tag left, so hopefully we can get that field this afternoon.
Well, as we're watching the does feed, we look up, and sure enough, here comes the buck that we're in there after. It doesn't take long. Dad's got the crosshairs right on him. As soon as I shot, I couldn't tell anything yeah. happened. That's not him. That's a different. That's the eight. That's the smaller one. Yes, that is a different deer than you just shot. One hundred percent. Guys, we just uh, been sitting here for quite a while this evening in the rain, and uh, we had several does come up. We had a little action there with them. Around. Then we had a buck come up out of the holler and come straight up. The dogs meandered off to the right, and uh, the buck he gave us a pretty good shot there. I'm pretty confident in the shot. Of course, there was so, so much smoke when that happened, I couldn't tell what was going on. So we've had another buck come up here, and we're waiting on him to leave right now. Here he comes right to it. Well, we've gave this buck a little time. We're going to grab some flashlights. Go in and see if we can recover this deer before the rain picks up.
That's long. It's a honk along, isn't it? See it right there? Well. Shine your light on it, Blake. Yeah. There. There. He turned. There. He's going to run around. Here you go. There he is. Yep. Pretty sure that's what I saw. That's what you saw earlier. I saw. <laughs> yes. We <Yeah>. got him. <laughs> Feel better? Yeah. Tell he him. ain't plumb to the bottom, man. No. No, he ain't he near, ain't to, the near bottom. to the bottom. Hold this a minute. What's that's the first one you shot since what 2011? Oh yeah, straight down there, right there. You're on it. Is that him? That's him. I, I think it was long. his ear, Brett, that I, I saw. I think it was up. too. I thought that was long. First deer since 20 was it 2011 or 2010? I... You ain't well, I mean, buck. You ain't shot nothing. You ain't no. shot nothing in ages. Leaves him for us every time. Well, let's go get him. Yep. Go down there and get him. You, you got, no, you I, don't I've got a lot. Well, you do. Come on and get him. He's big. I don't know if she hadn't broke that thing. Yeah, he's going to break it up. Yeah. This is here. Yep. It's a good deer. One, I didn't know he had to jump. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He'd have been. Down. That's a good deer. That's the one that we's after. That's what we come in here for. Awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, we've uh, retrieved this deer. It's uh, December the 10th. It's uh, opening day of the second season of muzzleloading here in Kentucky. And uh, we came out uh, this evening. We've been watching this deer and another one or two uh, come out late in the evening. So we came out and sat in a blind late this evening and we had several does come in there and uh, he was coming in late. Uh, it was raining about all afternoon. By the time we got here, a little before it started raining, it rained most of the evening. And uh, it was getting late. We had about probably 30 minutes before, 20, 25 minutes before uh, sunset. And uh, it was getting, kind of late because it's cloudy and raining and we didn't take too much time watching him after that and we we ended up taking him and, and he's a good deer he's a I don't know he's a mainframe 10 broke off a big time here uh, but he's a real pretty deer I'm glad to have him really blessed this evening we were able to get down here and retrieve him pretty quick once we got some light and uh, so uh, just glad we could get him this afternoon And I was like, that would be fine. Well, yeah. we, were, we were trying to do an interview and you sent the picture of the smoke. <laughs> you sent the picture to us. I was like, dude, look at this. It got the, the trail camera there was, got the smoke from the gun. There was two or three pictures of smoke. Yeah. And then this one, you can see that blurry picture. Oh, it was, running off. Yeah. But you didn't see yeah. them before that. You just saw those two. Uh, That's a good that? deer right there. It is. Well, our 2022 season was a great one. We were all able to tag some nice bucks, and that's going to do it for this episode of Aaron Outdoors and our final show here on Duo Broadband's local cable channel, too. And we certainly enjoyed the ride the last 10 years with Duo Broadband. We're not going anywhere. You can still find us online at Facebook and on YouTube, so go check that out, subscribe there, and we will see you next time on Aaron Outdoors.
Aaron Outdoors is brought to you by H. James Popowell Family Dentistry, Lawless and Smith True Value, Superior Battery Manufacturing Company, celebrating three decades of energy excellence made in the USA. Affordable roofing, professional work at affordable prices. Hillside Portable Building, 270-566-4191-270-866-1147. Russell Springs and Jamestown Pharmacies, fast and dependable service you can count on. For all your heat pump needs, service, and installation, call Kurtz Heating and Cooling. McDonald's of Russell Springs. Drive through, dine in, carry out, order online, and on the McDonald's app. Diversified Electric for all your commercial and residential electrical needs. Russell County Farm Bureau Agency. Blake Aaron Agent. Big on commitment. Bleed Blue Properties. Cash offers, any condition, as is. 859-684-7710. And by Day and Day Feed. More than just a feed store. 